we had a request from someone to look at fluorescence of southern flying squirrels here in Nebraska. Nebraska Wildlife Rehab happened to be uh, rehabbing an individual for us. And so we started kind of looking into whether our flying squirrels here in Nebraska actually fluoresce. My initial reaction was, I kind of didn't believe it. And so I took a small handheld black light over to the flying squirrel's cage and immediately she lit up just bright pink under black light. We don't have the ability to see UV light until we are able to use a special light to show that spectrum to us. And so I think it's it's kind of a novelty, you know, when you see a flying squirrel that's bright pink and purple, you know, it, it kind of blows your mind. It's amazing that I can still be surprised by wildlife. And that's one of the things that I love about working with our native wildlife is that there's always something new to learn. We're finding out in the literature that actually more species fluoresce than we ever knew. Finding out the reason why has been a little bit more difficult because there's all sorts of adaptations that these species have. And we're not sure which one of those is really causing this fluorescence or why it evolved in the first place. After learning that not only the flying squirrels luminesce under UV light, we also learned that Virginia opossums do. For an animal that's already so incredibly interesting to have this new layer of glowing this fluorescent pink under UV light was just another awesome feature. It's something that if you're not looking, you're probably going to miss. It's interesting. It gets people excited about what we do. When we have something that we can use to reintroduce people to these common animals, perhaps we can get them to look upon these animals with awe or respect or to work to preserve those species. And really that's the goal of all of us working in conservation.